Welcome back. It's art time class. Yay! Today, we're going to be looking at the Emoji Designer project. Let's get started. To begin, this project can be done on the iPhone or the iPad. You're going to need to find the Notes app, which is part of the iOS, so it's already on all Apple devices. If you're having trouble finding this icon, just tap the center of your screen and pull down, type in the word notes, and you should see it pop up there. You can use folders to help organize your notes. That icon is at the bottom left corner of the screen. Here I have an art time class folder I've already started. To start a new note, you're going to be looking for this icon. It's like a little square with a pen or pencil sticking out of it. It's at the top right corner on the iPad or the bottom right corner on the iPhone. Automatically, it's going to pull up that keyboard and we're looking for a circle, which, which looks like a little pen tool inside of it. That's going to bring up your markup tools. You have three different marking tools an eraser, select, ruler, and then different color options. On the iPad, there is also this tool right here with a little A on it. It's gonna turn anything you write into text. So very handy for those who like to write out their notes. So moving down, we've got a pen or pencil tool. I like having a, sty a smart stylus because by moving the tip around you can get thick and thin lines very easily you can do it with your finger it's just a little harder to control there is the highlighter tool I really like this tool for doing different values or color mixing activities then there's the texture tool it looks a lot like a, a crayon type texture you can also once you have a, uh, one of these three selected, you can click on it another time to bring up its little mini menu where it has the thickness of the line and opacity of the line that you can change and alter. Next is the eraser tool. It does have an option where you can erase just the pixel versus erasing the whole object. So that is a very handy tool. There is the select tool. When you circle something, you can then move it around that way. And then there is also a ruler tool. Um, and you make that ruler tool appear and disappear by clicking on it. And you can use both fingers to move it around. Now, as you can see on this one, my markup tools have hidden themselves. So all I need to do is just click this button again to make them reappear. The color options are very handy and I think they're very smartly designed. The way they designed it's very smart. You've got these different ways to find the perfect color for your eyedropper. So you're like, oh, I really want that dark green. Now I have that dark green. Um, and you can save those different colors so you can go back to those frequently used colors easily. There's also a back button and forward button. On the iPhone, it is up at the top, those back and forward buttons. Next is a circle with three little dots. This is your more menu option. It's going to give you the more menu just for these tools over here. On the iPad, you'll see that more menu up here at the very top as well. This is the more menu for the whole notes app. On the iPhone, you get that by clicking the word done because you're, you're done with your drawing and you'll see that circle with the three dots appear. When you click on that, um, you definitely want to go over with the students how to save your work and all you need to do is click that circle with the three little dots you go to send a copy and then you want to save as image i always encourage my students to save their image in between each time they're working on it just in case someone gets a hold of their device and messes up their drawing once it's saved as an image you can go to your photos app and you'll see it down here and then you can go to edit and you see that little icon, that circle with the little pen tool. It is there so you can um, pull up these tools and you can keep drawing on your idea. So a very handy tool there, a way to save their work and continue working on it. There are also want to mention in the settings, you can go to display brightness and change it to dark and light, depending on if you want the background, what's the photos app? Go to the notes app if you want your background color to be black that 
or white. That is totally up to the person creating their work. And that's a very handy tool if they want a black background or white background. Let's go ahead and check out some student work because there is some really cool examples from my classroom I'd love to share with you guys. So here is a little bit of the work that we've done in the classroom. Now I work at a primary, uh, um, so I work with K through fourth graders this year. Um, that's what's on my campus. To start the project, we talked about emojis and how they're used, um, different emojis they've seen. We talked about that for a while and we took a day to kind of brainstorm our idea. And I really wanted students to leave a lot of notes about their work. Uh, the more notes, the better because uh, they can go back and it will remind them of what they're working on. And when I introduced this project, I did talk about the timeline. I always like to give my students a timeline of what we're, when we're going to do this so they can be prepared. Day one was in the sketchbook. Day two was recreating their idea in the sketchbook. Here you see a bunch of students on day two where they have their sketchbook open and they're drawing from that idea. So they're referencing their work. And then I always like to give an extra day, day three for that extended time accommodation, plus sometimes students are absent. So it's nice to have an extra day for those kids who missed it. Now in my sketchbook, I had um, an emoji design on mine where I did a ninja face emoji. Um, and that was one that was uh, commonly used in the classroom. They drew inspiration from my idea, which I'm more than okay with. So you see lots of different ninja ideas. Hmm? Right, this one is so super cute. It turned out really, really good. She did a really, job with, really good job with the highlights. Check out this next one. It's got really good highlights too. Look at that Pokeball. And you can really see that she thought about her idea and adding that highlight in her sketch over there. Um, she really blew it out of the water. She did have a Pokemon card with her when she was coming up with her idea. Mm -hmm. I know, I love. I know it's so cute. I love this one. Um, even, even, this was a first grader. Even first graders can create really cute ones. Um, and my favorite part about this project is behavior was not an issue at all. All the students I worked with were super happy and excited to work on the iPad and use smart styluses in the classroom or any kind of stylus, honestly, any stylus they really enjoyed having access to and getting permission to draw on the iPad because they work on the iPads all the time. They always want to draw on them, but they can't or not supposed to at least unless it's like indoor recess and uh, this time they really got to do some really cool ideas so once you guys have your idea please be sure to use one or more of these hashtags if you post it on social media so i can share your great work with my students as well well i cannot wait to see what you are going to make till next time keep being creative